Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Welcome to episode 5 of our Verified Governance webinar series. Today we'll be looking at the reporting engine, and the good news for those of you who have a short attention span, this will be the shortest of our episodes within this series. The first thing to note is that the platform ships with many reports available out of the box. However, almost every customer deployment will require some form of customised report to be built to satisfy business needs. The good news is that creating a report is very easy, as long as you understand how to write SQL queries and you understand the underlying database schema. So let's get cracking by taking a look at the Report Designer module within the Administration console. At this point, we're presented with a page that lists the SQL queries already present in the system. In this case, we have over 100 queries provided out of the box with a handful of custom queries present denoted with the cust prefix. I should point out the cust prefix is not automatically prepended to custom queries. Uh, instead, it's something I do as a matter of course to help me differentiate between my queries and the standard out of the box queries. So, Let's go ahead and create ourselves a very simple query to help us create a report that lists, for example, all identities in the platform, ordered by their department, user type, and active status. I'll click on this Actions button and then click on Add, and I'll give my report a name. Um, the query that I'm going to input here is actually very straightforward. It's very simple. I'm only querying a single database table, and I'm only pulling out a handful of attributes. And for those of you who understand SQL, this will look very familiar indeed. If we click on the query column and click on the import button, the system will execute the query, validate the query, and check that it is acceptable and provide us with a list of the attribute names returned. We now have the ability to customize the type of data elements and their widths as we see fit. But we'll just save this query for now. And the act of saving the query makes this query available for any reports we may want to construct using that query. So let's create a report. I'll click on the report tab Using my Actions button again, I'll select Add. I link my report to the query that I have just created. I'll give my report a name. The rest of these fields are optional, so I'll skip over them for now. I'll click on Next, and I'm once again presented with the, uh, the column names that are available for my report. I'm going to order the data by division in ascending order, department in ascending order. A pattern will start to emerge here. User type, user status, and let's go with surname as well. I'll click on Next. I now have the option to define how my report should be presented. Uh, for this report, I'm going to select um, CSV and Excel formats for the demonstration, and I'll click on Next. I now have an option of optionally creating a chart from my data that can be displayed within the dashboard. I shan't do that for now. I'll merely click on Next. And finally, I have the option to localize each of the attribute names and my report name before I have to click on save. So let's localize our report name. I'll just leave it with the cust prefix. That seems acceptable to me for now. We've now created a query 
and defined what a report should look like based on the data returned by that query, we're now left with just one more task, and that is publishing the query to a user community. We'll now select the Configure tab, where we will see a screen that defines the role to report mapping. And we can see the report that we have just created. I'm going to make this report available within the administration console by selecting the Access Governance Core Reports um, suite of entitlements. But I'm also going to make this available to our service desk analysts. So let me just search for the business role within our platform that equates to the service desk. There it is. And I'll click on OK. What have I managed to do here? I've now managed to allow the service desk people who log in to the service center within uh, this product to be able to run this report. But I can also run this report within the administration console as well. Let's check out a report. We'll navigate to the Access Governance Core module. We'll select the Monitor tab, where we will be presented with our list of reports. And we can see the report that I've just created at the bottom of this list. We click on Next, where we'll be asked what format of report do we want to run. I'm going to go with Excel. And now we can set a frequency should we wish the report to be generated on a schedule, um, or we can just run it as a one-off. We'll run this one as a one-off and click on the Execute. So our request has been accepted, and in the background, the report should be generated and will be available for download at some point. So if I click on the download tab here, we can see the report is in a pending status. If I do a refresh on that, we can see that the report is now available for download. I'll go ahead and download this report. And let's take a look at the contents. So if you remember, we wrote a SQL query that pulled our division, department, user type, user status, last name, first name, and email address from our data and sorted it in the order that we had specified. Uh, so we now have a full list of the people inside this demonstration environment. If we'd selected a frequency for the report, uh, we would be notified by email that the report is available for download after each invocation of that report. So what have we learned today? Well, we have learned how to create ourselves a data set from a SQL query. We've learned how to define a report and the structure of that report. We've learned how to assign the report to a consuming community. And we've also learned how to execute and schedule the report. To learn more about the reporting features of the Verified Governance product and to obtain a schema definition for the commonly accessed database tables, please visit our website at www.madigansolutions.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to look out for the next episode.